In part 10 of our video series, Introduction to Optics and Lens Design, I'm going to talk about designing a near-infrared apochromat. Now this is a very difficult problem for a couple of reasons. Main reasons has to do with the selection of suitable glass types. This lens operates in the near-infrared, not the visible region, and we're after exceptionally good color correction at a speed of f1.428. Now this is a hard problem. And since we don't have any starting point, we're going to use D-Search to find one. As I said, NIR glasses are difficult because it turns out if you use the kind of glasses that give good color correction in the visible, well, gee, they don't work too well in the near IR. So we need special intention to find uh, suitable glass types. How do you find these? Well, let's find some suitable glasses using the glass map and then use a promising combination when we run D-Search. If you simply run D-Search and let it find glasses with the glass model, you won't find any of these special glasses. So we have to do this differently. We have to examine the glass properties in the near-infrared. So open the singlet lens and change the wavelengths to, the, to these wavelengths in the near-infrared. Now open the pad display and select the glass table. Select the shot display, which shows the usual MD and VD map. But in this case, we really want to see what happens in the near infrared. So you're going to click the graph button right there and select the option plot P N3 N2 versus V N2 right there. Now we're just using the singlet lens because it's, it's a convenient place to put these three wavelengths. And this brings up a different display. <clears throat> now you can zoom in and with the scroll wheel and um, Pan with the right mouse button if you get this. And then click full name to display the, the, uh, the, the uh, glass names. Now what we want, we need three glasses that do not look like all the others. See, most optical glasses are right here scrunched together. And y you need a separation to get good color correction. So we're going to select some glasses which do not look like all the others. Like that. Here are, here are four glasses that look like they are very promising. So write down the names of the glass types in circled in white. NK51, NKZFS2, and we're going to tell D-Search to use just those two glasses. And then we'll also use these other two later on. So write, the, write those names down too. And this is going to be our D-Search input. A core command, D-Search works in multi-core. And here's the input, a near-infrared example with our infrared wavelengths. Let's say five elements is our F number, back in total and so on. Um, and we're going to say that for the positive elements, only use this glass. And for the negative elements, only use that glass. That'll make sure that D-Search always uses those two glasses right there. So D-Search runs and returns this picture of the 10 best solutions it found. And that was the top result. Well, it's not bad, <clears throat> but it only has the two glass types we selected. Now it's, the, now it's time to do a more comprehensive search. Open the macro D search up, which, which it created, and delete the glass variables right there. Delete those. And you want to save this macro with the name niropt.mac. And the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to use G search, which is the glass search program. And it's going to run this over and over again with all kinds of glass combinations. And it'll tell us which combination works the best. So make a new macro with the input for, 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 for G search. Give it the surface numbers of, of where you're going to put these glasses on. The, the optimization file is the one that we just created, NIR opt. And here are the names of the glasses that we're going to use. The shot catalog and these, these four glasses, which are the names you wrote down earlier. And we're telling it only use combinations, only examine combinations, which use at least three of those glasses, which uh, avoids wasting time on combinations that aren't likely to work anyway. So I run G search and it finds this combination. Hey, this is a great design and was found with very little effort using automatic search programs, D-Search and G-Search. But we always ask, can we do better? Let's run the original D-Search opt and then anneal. 
Well, somewhat better. Annealing usually helps things a little bit. But here's a lesson. Whenever you run dsearch and then add goals or variables that were not declared originally, the best one that found is not always best anymore. So I ran G-Search on all 10 of the D-Search results, and the fourth one came out a little bit better. So remember, it sometimes pays to start out with one of the other designs found by D-Search. So if we modified what was in the original search criteria, it's possible that a different design might actually come out better. And if you run this yourself, remember that each run comes out a little differently owing to the random nature of the annealing step but the overall results are usually just as good. And that's the, that's the end of our lesson. Thank you.